Mindset, Habits and Biology. The most underrated out of all. I see this all the time. Most people or my coaching students come to me and start asking questions about the next strategy, technique, quick tiny little hack, when in reality, most of the heavy lifting happens in terms of your mindset, your habits and biology, right? And don't get me wrong, in the beginning, when you start building your business, your success correlates more with what you know, right? It's more about what you know. But later, as you move on, it's gonna become more about what, like, who you are, the kind of person you are, the kind of energy you have, the, what, like, how, how do you structure your days, and how, how do you make sure that your habits set yourself up for success. So having a strong mindset and habits and biology enables you to have high standards, like really high standards. It enables you to have laser focus, high energy, strong belief in what you do and its value. Also, it gives you a lot of clarity. It helps you to avoid burnout and overall happiness. That's what it's really all about. Now, I can keep talking about mindset, biology, energy for hours and hours over here, uh, but I think the most effective way to show you something is just, how about we just jump quickly on my computer and I just show you some stuff, cool? So yeah, come with me. Hey, I'm happy you're here. Uh, this is what I want to show you. When I when I talk about mindset, this is what was the biggest thing for me. Uh, again, like I can talk about mindset for hours and hours, but if I can only show you one thing, this would be the one. Uh, this is called SBA worksheet, meaning see, believe, achieve. And this is really based on the psychological nuances of how you can trick your brain to believe that um, you are capable of, of greater things than you would ever imagine, right? And it uses tools like visualization, affirmation, and neuro-linguistic programming. Again, I'm not gonna go into details, but this is what it is. I have my story so far, you know, who I am, what I've achieved, um, with, all, with all the dates, you know, I was a young kid, swimming, then BMX, a lot of different sports, quit, quit, um, quit the university, then met a guy, started a business, business together, um, then find um, a program about how I can build an agency, started that program, closed the client, and you know, I was all over the place, I had like many businesses, and, and, and I was just struggling with each and every one of them, then at, uh, at in the middle of 2019, I started to get some traction, and then 2020, uh, I decided to move to the, to the international market, because before of that, I was in a Hungarian one. And then, you know, the first 15K month, 40K month, like all the good stuff. You, you can just write down like what has happened so far in your life so you would never forget where you're coming from. Uh, by the way, guys, this is something I read out every single morning, right? So um, I used to, used to read it out every single morning. To be to be very honest, that is I don't do that anymore. I mean, I, I read it like a few times a week and that's probably enough for me to remember for all the good stuff, like for all the important stuff. So you, you read out your next chapters. You really plan out who you want to become, how you want your life to be, what are the things you want to accomplish, why do you want to have them? Because at the end of the day, how are you going to achieve something that you haven't planned, right? This is part of your mindset. Just think about it. If you, if you go, if you sit into your car and, and you want to go somewhere and, and you don't know where, don't you where you want to go? Like, how are you going to get there? You, you, you cannot give it to a GPS if you don't know where you're driving. But if you, if you go there and you put it into a GPS and that's where you're headed, you're essentially going to go there, right? So you have to think about this one the same way. Write it down what you want to happen, what you want uh, to have in your life. And then even have a vision board. Like, it's really to visualize what I want to happen. The most important things. It's really something in every single morning you should, as a rookie entrepreneur, go through and, and observe what it is for you. Um, you know, many important things I, I never want to forget. So I think humans, our biggest problem is that we are super forgetful, right? We can have all the knowledge in the world. We can watch all the YouTube videos. You can watch this video, another video, and then you, you would still make mistakes, right? Things that you already know not to do. So this is why I have important things I want to remember, things I never want to forget. If you want to read them, you can stop the video, by the way. Um, goals for 2021. These are not financial goals over here for me. I keep those somewhere else, but these are like things I want to have in my life, you know, good things. Uh, the next one is really a, um, a Wikipedia page, but I haven't updated that one. So I'm like, I'm not going to share it because I'm not proud of that right now, how that looks. I still need to update that. 
affirmations super important you know things i want to have this is part of your mindset like this is who you are i always ask myself every single day am i being fully present at the moment because this is the most important thing in life right if you're keep wondering about what's gonna happen or what has happened in the past you're never gonna get where you want to and you're never gonna feel fulfilled you know can i pull, pull back on my hustle attitude you know because i realize i can push like really strong so i need to make sure that i have like proper recovery at the end of the day you know do i make communication clear straight uh decisions quickly without overanalyzing Mo like the most important things you can have uh, have in your life uh you just write them over here and read them every single day in the morning and then i i believe i also have yeah a few favorite quotes um sometimes i just read some of these to remember you know things i want to again keep top of mind awareness <laughs> yeah and so this is the second page the next thing I want to show you guys is, you know, habits and routines. Like this is how I plan out my habits and routines. Uh, what I found, I, I tried many, many things. I did a lot of biohacking, um, but, but what I realized um, and what, what was my conclusion after investing um, heavily into hacking my biology and my energy was that um, it's better, like I would say quantity over quality. It's better to focus on a few key things and make them a really strong habit to me it's like for example it's meditation cold shower waking up early in the morning drinking water sitting early you know standing up from the computer yada 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 point being you need to test it you need to find it but once you found that you don't have to do everything because i've been there i had times when i had like a three hours wrong morning routine and then i spent another hour and a half throughout my day doing routines and so all I was doing is routines. I haven't haven't got got any any um, proper work done. So again, you can read the baselines. Like these are the most important things for me. Um, waking up relatively early in, in in the morning. I tested everything. Like I, I tried like waking up at nine. I tried waking up at around five thirty. This is the one. Like this is what works best for me. You know, fasting a little bit. Not I, I don't go crazy with anything, but I, I you know not a sixteen hour, but like at least thirteen. Um, then. Um, you know, fast once a week for a day. I actually don't keep that. <laughs> I should do right. Like these are. This is why you have these baselines. You don't. I don't wanna. I don't wanna trick anyone. And say, oh yeah, this is how I live my life. Now, nah, obviously not. You know, if you see that, stop working after eight. It's eight sixteen. I'm still working, right? So there are things that I don't do. Um, I'm not sacred. But what I say is, it's good to have base signs. It's good to at least remember that right now I should be doing something else for 60 minutes. Now I decided to finish this video for you guys. But but yeah, no work on Sundays. You know, no checking phone before 10 after 9. Um, visualize three acts a, day, um, a week. Having quick meals, uh, sorry, quick walks, uh, walks after meals. Um, then I have a meticulous morning routine I usually follow. Uh, to me, the biggest ones I found in terms of biology, again, like meditation, because it helps me to really be in the present and appreciate what I have. Just it's, it's really the happiness for me and, and gives a lot of clarity. A uh, glass of water because it gives me a lot of energy in the morning. A cold shower. I actually don't have it over here, but I do cold shower in the morning. And that's because that trains my amygdala to do tasks that I actually don't want to. And going to the bed, like waking up and going to the bed pretty much at the same time. Like that helps me a lot. And again, I like to have the scheduled a no work day on Sundays. Like if I skip that, I probably, I'm probably going to have a bad day um, in the next, next week or even like two bad days in a row. Um, and so I, over, I also have things I listed for an evening routine and I have things I can do in a work rest period. Again, this is good to remember, like, what are the things you can do? Because some people, like, they just got tired and they're like, oh, I'm so tired. I don't know. Uh, I can't work anymore. Work-life balance is really important. And so instead of them doing some breath, breath work or some mobility, stretch, you know, some posture correction, whatever it is, right, that can put them back into the game, like, increase their energy... Instead, of just start watching Netflix, eating some chocolate and it's game over. YouTube videos, right? I used to do that. Like, I was like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm just going to watch a few YouTube videos while I'm eating, right? For And then and then my 20-minute e uh, eating block became an hour long. And I was watching YouTube videos for an hour eating. And when I stopped, I was still watching YouTube videos. It was super, super unproductive at the end of the day. This is what it is for me. Habits, routines, baseline. And then this is how I plan out my week. Um, again, I'm very meticulous about like how I plan out, how I sort out these things. Um, and I even schedule these habits here, right? So just spread them out and make sure that I have them over here, top of mind awareness. I schedule them on my phone. Um, so yeah, it is it is what it is. Uh, I just wanted 
I, I don't want to go into like very detailed in that because it's different for everyone. But what I'm saying is that definitely create a, vi a vision board for, for you, like what you want to accomplish in life and um and just set some baselines like maybe in the beginning for you it's just gonna be like one page uh because that's how everyone starts like just one page about you what you want to accomplish stuff like that and just a few baselines you can just you know grab a few from here and just try them like test them see what happens um and and then you can move from there so if you enjoy this mini series and find some value in it don't forget to share it to a friend i'm quite sure that there are quite a few people within your inner circle who could benefit from watching these videos. Drop a like, drop a comment, let me know your questions and subscribe. And welcome to my channel guys. If you want to motivate me to keep creating more content, then now is the time. Um, just be here with me, I promise I'm gonna deliver. So have a great day and how about taking action and sitting down thinking about what that high ticket service would look like to you. What is it that you really can help the whole humanity at the end of the day? Because trust me, you might feel like that there is nothing you can deliver, but at the end of the day, humanity needs a lot of help. We are in big trouble. So whatever it is, people need you. So take massive action.